go way up if there are uh, previous convictions uh, in a particular case. Any other questions? Yes, sir. You mentioned that uh, bad design, you know, you're citing this guy for the file. Are you doing anything at the start of this for the land developers, for real estate owners, and making sure that they're in compliance when the building is developing these properties? No, not my problem. That's not your issue. Not my problem. So the owner has no responsibility. He is the owner. And he's the one that built the system. So I mean, has no responsibility. It, he, the, the owner does. I mean, he built the system. He's the one that uses it. He's the one that operates it. He's the one that got permits for that location. And it's up to him to figure out a way to be in compliance or go to another location. Uh, I mean, that's not my problem how he complies. My only concern is that he does comply, whatever it takes. That's not my, my so problem. Your office is not currently prosecuting any land developers, builders, or real estate owners for building these things. Well, or how about the neglect? They just don't do it at all. How about they don't take any account and keep the water? Well, I mean, it depends, it depends on what it is. It's usually not the developer that's discharging anything. It's whoever the tenants are. It's not always even the landowners. You know, if you're a landowner and you're a landlord and you rent your property to a business, and it's that business that contaminates your property and has discharges, I'm going to be going after the business that's discharging. You know, we may look at the landowner. The landowner's landlord's always going to have civil liability. You know, if that operator up and, and leaves in the middle of the night and leaves that landowner holding the bag for cleanup, they're going to have to clean it up. I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, but yeah, I mean, to answer your question, we look at every culpable person that we could charge. Sometimes we don't have evidence to go after uh, anyone more than the person actually doing the discharge. But we try to look at, at all you know facets of who's responsible for this, if, if we can make that determination. Sometimes we can, and sometimes we can't. Uh, but we, we do go up as, as far as we can for liability. The second way that an offense can be committed against a person intentionally or normally with respect to conduct discharges or allows the discharge of any waste or pollutant from a point source in violation of Chapter 26 or a rule, permit, or other order, etc. And again, the appropriate regulatory agency in our cases uh, for water pollution is always the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. Okay, that's who we're going to look to as the bizarre appropriate regulatory agency. And if you look at Chapter 26 of the Water Code, 26.121, which is actually where the uh, Texas Clean Water Act is located, there's a section in there titled Unauthorized Discharge is Prohibited, and we use that a lot. But the nature of this offense is, is a discharge from a point source into or adjacent uh, uh, to water in the state. The thing about this offense is I don't have to prove that it caused or threatened to cause any pollution. Just that you had a discharge and you weren't authorized to discharge whatever it was that was being discharged at the time. And point source is defined in chapter 26 and, and you can see here that it covers just about anything. Any discernible can find a discrete conveyance and then the rest is just inclusive uh, type language. I mean, pipes, obviously, uh, the, the case on Watts where he dug the little trench, we were able to use that as a point source. It can be any container, as long as we can clearly show that there is a discharge coming from that container. Rolling stock, just about anything for which pollutants or waste are or may be discharged into or adjacent any water in the state. That could be a boat. We've used boats. We've used rail cars. It could just be a facility. As long as I can pinpoint where that discharge is coming from, that can constitute a point source. Okay. Any questions about that? Yes, sir. Okay, he's talking about using a vacuum system and uh, to do what for your, your cleaning processes. If you want to know if you can discharge it into where? What kind of sewer line? And you're vacuuming it up for what? You're like you're vacuuming out a sanitary sewer system, and you want to know if you can 
I'll put it back in. Uh, from, from a criminal standpoint, I would say yes. From a regulatory standpoint, there are probably some other people here that you would have to ask about that. Clyde Smith with the city being one of them, because he, he's the one that monitors all discharges that go into the sanitary sewer system. Uh, so I really can't answer that you know, definitively for you. But for criminal purposes, I would say you know, you'd be fine.
significant monetary penalty, even though it's a misdemeanor offense. And then if there's a previous conviction under 147, uh, punishment can be enhanced again with that prior conviction and, and double. Any questions about that? Yes, sir. Generally, I will know about the cases right away. Uh, and generally, once 